In this problem, we have a scenario where we've got a psychological test for students, the scores that range from 0 to 220. And we're told that the mean for high school students is 125 with a standard deviation of 30. We have a researcher who suspects that high school students who study statistics will score higher on this test and decides to test this out by giving the test to 25 randomly selected students. And we're told that the mean score for this sample of size 25 is 136.1. And the question is, is there evidence at a 5% level of significance to support the researcher's belief? So the first step is to write out the null and alternative hypothesis. So we've got H0. The null hypothesis is just the statement that, no, there's really no difference between these groups, so that the mean is just 125, the same as it is for all the high school students. The alternative hypothesis is what the researcher suspects is true, that the mean for those studying statistics is actually uh, greater than 125. We're also told our significance level alpha is 0.05, so we'll just make note of that there. So the test statistic, Z, just looks like x bar minus mu divided by sigma over the square root of n. So we have 136.1 minus 125 divided by a sigma, which we're told is, uh, excuse me, not 2 rather there, but a 3, 30 over the square root of the sample size, 25. And if we calculate this, we turn out to get um, 1.85. All right. So now our alternative pot, uh, hypothesis is in the positive direction. So if we think in terms of the standard normal distribution, so we're centered at 0, and our z value here is, say, right here, 1.85. The p value, then, is this area right here. Okay, so we're well versed in how to find that using Excel, so I won't bother to actually demonstrate it here. Instead, I'm just going to report the news. It turns out to be about 0.0322. Now remember, alpha was 0.05, so when we're trying to make a decision about whether or not to reject the null hypothesis. We compare alpha to p. We can see in this case the p-value is smaller than alpha. What that tells us is yes, there's enough evidence to conclude that the null hypothesis isn't what's true, that we should go with the alternative hypothesis. So we're going to reject H0.